Hi everybody and welcome back. Well today we're doing a get ready with me which was highly requested. I had asked you in my last video if you would like to see that and also where the hell have you been Viv video because I feel like I owe you an explanation because I haven't been on here a lot so I'm going to share that today. We're going to get ready. We're going to do this face, a little bit of hair, bit of makeup and share a few things with you. So I am so, so happy to be back and thank you to all of you who did comment down below because otherwise I don't know whether you're interested or not in making a video like this so it really, really helps out so thanks a lot. So where have I been and I will be getting ready as I'm talking so it's just going to be a little bit of an informal chit chatty video. So let's start back at Christmas. And as you know, I was on and off kind of a little bit since Christmas. So I've had a few uh, health issues, which I did say on uh, our community post. And basically, I had a, an inflammation in the esophagus. So I wasn't sure what this is. I wasn't uh, properly digesting my food. It was quite worrying. I was starting to think because I'm an ex-smoker. I like my wine. You start to think of all the, you know, the bad things. Um, and yeah, I try to stay positive, but you know, when you're educated about different things and whatever, you do start to, and you're Googling everything, you do start to kind of think, is it this, is it that? So I went for a lot of tests, long story short. I had an MRI, I had two endoscopies, I had bloods done, and lots of different uh, doctor visits. The endoscopies showed up in inflammation, which it wasn't 100% uh, complete as in, in, in its diagnosis. So they said there is an inflammation there for sure, but they weren't too, too, my doctor said she, my consultant said she wasn't too worried about it at the moment, but we would do follow-ups. So she put me on, uh, they're like reflux tablets for the acid I was having. And um, she put me on a couple of different tablets. Just actually let me know if any of you have had this kind of a problem. And also then they put me on steroids to clean it or to clear it out. Now I've been on because I also had a lot of mucus and I had a really, really bad cough. So obviously I was just thinking the worst. So I wasn't in the best form. I wasn't in the form for kind of shooting videos and being all merry. And I, I mean, if I'm happy, I'm happy. And if I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to pretend I'm not. So um, I put on two doses of steroids pretty much back to back, which led me to putting on weight, which led me to, again, adding to the whole thing of not really wanting to shoot videos. I wasn't in the mood. My clothes weren't fitting me. Um, I wasn't sure whether it was my diet. I wasn't sure. I think it was, to be very honest, I think it was a combination of the, the lockdown. Um, I had given up cigarettes four years ago. I think that was slowly coming on and my age and where I'm heading, perimenopause and all that kind of stuff, wine related and then the steroids. To be very honest, I think that's exactly what it was. So I was putting on a good bit of weight. I just wasn't happy with myself. To be very honest, I wasn't working out either though. So I'm back at that. I'm back at yoga all the rest of it, I'm back doing strength training and I'm over the moon with that because both mentally and physically, it is incredible. We'll, we'll talk more about that soon. So basically I had chest x-rays and all that, and that was going on for months and months and months and months because you go in for one consultation then they'll bring you back for another one. It's all a waiting game and hence, as I said, I just wasn't really on form for, for making videos. So that was kind of on and off pretty much all year. Um, then as I touched on the weight and the steroids and um, the combination of things there really like as anybody knows that would kind of hit your confidence as well and you don't want to see people you don't want to do things you don't feel great so that was also contributing to the whole not wanting to film. Then number three Marbella I went to Marbella with my mother and my two children in was it June or July? July. Uh, because Ben was doing his leave insert this year, aced and got his exams. Thank you, God. He's in college now. He's driving, passed his driving test. So we had to get him over all those little humps. And Katie then was studying away. She's gone from like transition year into fifth year. So her leaving cert will be next year. So she has a pretty serious year this year. So when we were in Marbella, I actually brought my camera and I was like, right, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring my viewers around Marbella because I want to do some traveling videos. And I brought everything and because I was with my mother and I actually I just love her company. We are great friends. She's not just my mother, we're great friends as well. Do some makeup fit while you're here. So we'll start off and today I'm using a, I'll, I'll get back to my mother in a second. I start with a concealer. Now I have a tiny, tiny bit on today because I was at the gym like a good little girl. So I put on a tiny bit of concealer and a tiny tip of mascara. That's all I have on. So I'm going to do the rest with you now. 
So my usual concealer is Estee Lauder Double Wear number 1C Light Cool. It's this one here. And this is a great little concealer. I'll show you my hands. I, can, I know you can see them there at the moment. I'll talk about that in a second. But there's very little of that left. So I picked up an NYX Studio Photogenic Concealer. It's CW02. I don't know if any of you have used this product, but it is brilliant. And for half quarter of the price. So I often do this and things like this just keep me going till I restock and till my other bits and pieces come back and come, uh, are delivered. So this is the concealer I'm using and day to day you don't need a lot. You don't need a lot of particularly as we get older as well. You just need your concealer for all those little red bits here. Any little red blemishes you may have. Uh, it just covers them right up, but you don't need a lot of makeup day to day really. Um, I prefer less is more as they say. So if you want to use a little bit of airbrush flawless foundation that I use, this is the Charlotte Tilbury one neutral in number five. Uh, I get different shades depending on, you know, if I have tan on my body, I never take tan on my face. Don't take sun on your face. It's very aging. And so I'd, I, I would darken up on my foundation. Just let me check. So I'll put a little bit here, a little bit here, here, here. I'm very casual with my makeup, to be very honest with you. And I mean, it doesn't take a lot. You just literally, the little, cover up the blemishes is really all you need. So I also now use like a contour stroke bronzer. This is a contour stick from Sosu. And I have to say, this is a great little one. This color is the dark shade. So what I do just for a bit of framing, and this is the kind of makeup I use even for filming. So I just do here, here, outline the jaw, a little bit down the nose, dot, 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 dot. You see, I'm very casual. I don't really fuss a lot with my makeup. And then I get my little sponge and I blend her all in. And in makeup blending and um, just making sure there's no straight lines or anything like that. Blending is the most important with your eyeshadow, with your foundation, with everything. So I try and do the light colored first so that obviously you don't want any darkness under your eyes. We don't need that, thank you. We're trying to get rid of any darkness and tiredness. So I had to do all the lightness first in around my nose, under my eyes, very lightly tap. And then I can go in here and then I go in and I blend in the dark, the contouring part. So that just gives your face a little bit of more shape and structure. So, you know, we can use all the, the help we can get, you know, you know. <laughs> so I'm just going to blend away and continue talking about the holidays. So yes, we went to Marbella and my mother, as you know, I've told you before, comes to on holidays with us every year, thank God. And her health is good at the moment. And I just wanted to live in the moment and enjoy that and enjoy my mother, enjoy my kids. But I'd taken out a camera all the time and um so that was that that was holidays then i had kind of when i came home which would have been the end of august well we went for no we went for the month of july so when we came home in august and then security reasons i don't want to really be telling people i'm away so we came back early august and i had kind of intended on getting into filming and back into work when i came home but that didn't really work out because, again, I still had health issues going on. I was so busy with the kids between Ben getting his results, getting them ready. He was, start, he was starting back to college. Katie was starting back into a serious year. So I really just wanted to be there for them. And I wasn't ready to, be, to come back to filming either. And I wanted to be, you know, lively the way I usually am, good form. And I think you just lose your stride sometimes, being very honest, and you lose your inspiration. And I wanted to get that inspiration back, be lively and have something of value to offer you. So it's it's hard to keep it up all the time, being creative and inspiration and, and being fresh and new. So that, um, that all happened. And then uh, the psoriasis. The psoriasis has been on and off. Um, I suppose, like I thought it was washing up liquid, like fairy liquid. I thought it was detergents like that, that were like, because I've never, ever, ever had this before. And this is just on my hands, nowhere else on my body, but really severe now. And it was just a tiny bit, I'll show you. So as you can see, I've no nails. Just 
it done there's no point um it's all red here and look at my skin at the back i am going to dermatologists all the time and it's in between my fingers and it's just raw it's like it's almost like they're burnt in a way i said to my dermatologist you know i asked her did she know what caused it she said it could be hormonal these things can just happen other people are saying it's stress i don't feel stressed but sometimes it can be stressed on the inside another reason why obviously i went back to the gym and yoga particularly and uh yeah so it's really raw you would think i haven't put on cream for about a year i'm putting on cream constantly the dermatologist has recommend Enstellar, which is this one and I'm putting that on at night, but I don't really, to be very honest, like this because it literally takes a layer of your own skin off with it because it is a cortisone cream. So that's what I'm using. And on top of that, I'm piling on Eucerin, which I think is great because it has a, it's a urea cream. So I have lots of different ones of those. If any of you out there, I'm going to put some more on now. If any of you out there suffer with the same thing and you have found something helpful could you please let me know because it is uncomfortable it's very very uncomfortable very unsightly very itchy oh my god sometimes i could just tear my skin off um so yeah the, my hands as i said look you know you don't want them in videos but then you want to be honest people go through things and we're not perfect none of us see i'm itching now again oh my god and i can't help it it's just Sorry, it's just so itchy. It's like that kind of, you never have a scratch somewhere and you can't itch it. It's like that. And then you get out and it's like, oh, the satisfaction is unbelievable. So yeah, I'm, I'm trial and error with my hands. I've changed all my detergents. I've changed all my soaps. People were telling me to put my hands in gloves and put them in um, moisturizer at night. I've done that. I, I think I've just done pretty much everything. So if, I, if there's anything you can recommend, ladies, I would love you to comment down below, please, because that would just be It'd be a godsend, to be very honest. As I said, I can't wear my jewellery, my rings, anything like that. I'm just wearing my bracelets and necklaces and earrings at the moment. Oh, by the way, I wanted to mention these. <clears throat> Got these little beauties sent to me as a gift. Not sponsorship, but I love them. The little sleepers on the front, the little diamonds on them. They're gold-plated, and what I love about them is they just hug my ear perfectly. You know, sometimes you get hoops, and they just they just don't fit right. Well, these fit perfectly. They're from Jupita, is the name of the company. And I will link them down below. I think they're giving me a discount code. So thank you very much to them. And they also gave me this beautiful little Loch de Mante uh, chain here. Look at it. It's like the little, almost like the little Hermes one. Beautiful with diamantes on it. Again, gold plated. And I just think it's really dainty, really pretty just to throw on. So I just want to say thank you to those. Really appreciate them at the moment because I can't wear any rings and it's just such a nightmare. So I would love if you would send me um, any recommendations you have for my sore, poor little hands at the moment. Katie's been unreal. She's trying to come up with everything. She's looking up every TikTok, everything. Like I'm taking uh, CMOS at the moment as well, which is one of her recommendations. I'm now calling her Dr. Katie. And I'm taking spoonfuls of that every day. It doesn't seem to be doing anything, but I'm going to continue taking it because it's got lots of vitamins, like 92 vitamins and minerals in it. Anyway, so that's going to be good for my skin. So that's the psoriasis story. And then we just blend that in. And I'm going to put on a little bit of powder today. Sometimes I don't bother with powder, to be very honest. But powder is great for filming. This one I love, and it is Laura Mercier. Love this. It's a translucent. There's no color in it whatsoever. Translucent setting powder. I'll link everything for you down below. And this is my ride or die powder. I love it. I've used it since my modeling days. And it's just, as I said, goes with everything. I should have opened this before I started filming. You know those seasons where you just love everything? I love everything this season. And I'm shopping like mad. It's actually so dangerous. But anyway, we'll get into that in another video. And you have to subscribe and like because I've got a so much to show you in what I bought and I'm going to style them up for you. So hit the notifications bell and subscribe so you won't miss out on any. The dress. I don't know if you can see it. I'll do a cutaway. Well, I'm putting this in, but I don't want to get this all over the dress. So I'll do a cutaway. It is Skims. And ladies, when I tell you, I bought it and I was like, that's a bit expensive now for, for what it is, right? But actually, it's 99 something. It's not that expensive. Like there's other stuff way more expensive. But when I got it and when I put it on, 
Like I had seen it on YouTube. I'd seen people recommend it. I'd seen it on Instagram. I was like, really, really? I got it. And oh my God, yes, it's worth it. Buy it. I'll link it down below. I'm telling you, for if you, for those of you who want to look pretty for the boyfriend sitting at home watching television, this, that's just pretty, hot. It skims you, haha, -ha, pardon the pun, in all the right places. Not only that, it feels the, the material, there is modal, which I love, and spandex in it. It just feels luxurious. It feels like if you're into your self-care and you're, you need a bit of, you know, TLC at the moment, buy the dress. And not only that, it's so versatile. I'm going to wear this. As you see today, I'm wearing it with a little shirt. There's the top of it, look. I'll show you as I said in colour. I'm wearing it with this striped shirt, which I got from h and I'll link it down below. And um, I just think a big shirt with this type, it's full length. It skims in around the bum. But like, as I, I've talked about my weight, so if you're worried about your weight at the moment, don't. You can wear a shirt over it. You can wear boots with it. You can wear your ballet flats with it. You can wear a big shirt, wear it as a skirt. You can bring it on holidays. Oh, it, you can roll it up. It is just divine, let me tell you. So that's the dress. Just gorgeous don't hesitate go out and get her trust me and if you don't like it do you know what you could you do come back on and leave a comment down below actually do you know what i'd love any of you to do that if i recommend something to you and you've either bought it and love it or bought it and didn't like it and it didn't suit you at all i want to know let me know down below i won't get offended if you say viv that was a really crap recommendation like why did you do that well see i trust in what i'm um, recommending so I don't think that's going to happen so if you do and you don't like it let me know down below let the other girls and ladies know down below they'd like to know and if you love it let them know too so uh, so here we are going to brush the old eyebrows so a little bit of grooming goes a long way you know, why would you bother but it actually works this is Kiko I've had this for ages it's a Kiko K-I-K-O K -K eyebrow designer gel mascara and this is an Italian brand. And I always pick it up, actually. I seem to pick it up when I'm at the airport. But I have this. It lasts forever and ever. And then I will do my eyebrows. And this is what I always use for my eyebrows. It is the Anastasia Dark Brown Brow Powder Duo. And it comes, it looks like this. For anybody who is interested, this is amazing. And it lasts at least, at least a year. So well worth the money. I think it's about or it's not that expensive maybe a little bit more than 20 so it has two but as you can see it has two browns on it but as you can see one of mine I obviously use a lot more than the other and yes it is incredible very natural you probably some of you squirming now at me doing that but I like to just wet the brush a tiny bit just before I put it on and just again follow the natural hairs of your eyebrow the natural line and just to define not overly do it but it just frames your eyebrows frame your face so nicely and it just gives a more polished and groomed look even if you're just going to the gym like you see the difference between my two now and it's literally just a bit of powder it takes two seconds this makeup is so easy i could do it in my sleep to be very honest Follow the line of your brow, fill in. As we get older, our eyebrows thin, as in all our hair thins. Actually, I have a great little, uh, little what do you call it, contraption to show you in my next video as well. It's a hair removal IPL, and it is just doing a great job. I've had it for a couple of months now, and we'll show you that in the next video. It Because I don't like going to the salon. I just... It's a waste of time. I, I hate going and getting my hair done. I hate getting my nails done. I hate getting any kind of waxing done. I just find it so tedious. I love the result. I want the result. And that's probably a terrible thing to say because other people will be like, God, you know, God, you know, Stacia, you've really got big worries if that's what you hate. And that's true. But I just find it really boring and tedious. And yes, it is important for my job and for other things. So I will show you that. It's a hair removal that you can do at home, watching television, whatever. So yeah, this is the brows. Now, that was my psoriasis story. Then I had uh, dental work. I had uh, different issues in my mouth and I had to get some dental work done. Yeah, so there was just a lot going on, as I said, then with the kids, all that kind of stuff. 
and um what else i talked about then going back to the gym so september 6th i started a you know the way sometimes you get bored of doing the same thing all the time and i have to enjoy even with work with anything i have to enjoy and i think we deserve not just have to whatever but deserve to enjoy our workout and because it's it's you know self-care time out all the rest of it so i went i said right do you know what i love doing i love dancing i really love dancing and i did irish dancing when i was younger that's different but i've i did a dancing with the stars thing for charity and uh i just love it so i said right well, let's have a look at a dance class so one day of course scrolling through the phone it came up this dance yourself fit and i was like right that's it and it when did i find it in august i said that's it and the classes were starting it was a seven week course every wednesday night which i liked because you're not just sitting on the couch because i kind of tend to go to the couch about maybe five six o'clock and so this was like right one day a week i'm not going to the couch i'm going to my dance class so i started it it's local um into my this is week five will be this wednesday and then I've actually signed up for the next one as well. We do samba, we do um, salsa, we do mambo. Is it mambo? Mambo? Sambo? Mambo? Mambo. <laughs> we do cha-cha-cha, we do waltz, we do hip-hop. We do a mixture of everything for an hour every Wednesday. And you know what? I just love it. I love it. And what I've, I've really discovered about myself is... I love variety. I really do. You know, it's the spice of life. And that's my kind of personality. I love variety and I do get bored quite easily. Now, you might have saw it, Viv, that took you a long time to do your eyebrows. But that's because I'm taking my time. I'm just chatting and I'm getting distracted. But that's the brows done. And they just look more polished, more defined and better for camera, better for pictures, better for everything all around, basically. So that was the dancing. And I'm doing that every Wednesday. I'm loving it. And as I said, the extra bonus is that it's in the evening time and I can't sit on the couch. And then on the 15th of September, I joined the gym again and I said, right, that's it. I'm going to join the gym again. I used to always go to the gym, got out of the habit, uh, probably during the pandemic, to be honest. A little bit of coffee. And I joined back and I'm doing yoga. I'm doing spin. I'm doing um, uh, asan abs. I'm doing sweat class, which is like circuit, which is tough. That was tough. And the yoga, which I just, uh, strong class, which is weights. And yeah, my favorite, as I said, which is the yoga. Oh my God. Ladies, if any of you are stressed out there. And that was another thing. The only area at the moment I seem to be carrying a lot of weight is around my stomach. Now I'm going to do stomach videos, but you'll have to be patient with me. As I said, some of my clothes aren't fitting properly, but we're going to get get there and I'll carry a lot of weight around my tummy so I was kind of going just this is kind of weird it's like in one area but then of course perimenopause all the rest of it and so I wanted to concentrate on the cortisol cortisol levels in my stomach because cortisol can cause weight gain so hence the yoga and the breathing and I do that twice a week on a Friday on a Thursday and Friday and oh my god afterwards you feel like nobody can ruin your day nobody anybody that one person that always seems to wreck your head or if you see their 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 number coming up on your phone they're not even gonna wreck your day you just breathe and you're like oh my god this is incredible and i knew that because i did yoga before I did it for years i actually qualified as a fitness instructor years ago one of my many courses but now what i'm doing here is i'm taking my Char charlotte tilbury cheek to chic pillow talk I'm going to give that a little rub it's probably full of hand prints fingerprints and this is an actual blusher right but this me running out the door I use this as a blusher and I also use it as an under eye liner if you like and I'll just cover the mirror there because you don't want to be kind of so that's the color there's a lighter kind of a shimmer uh, bronze in the middle and then on the outside it's more of like terracotta so terracotta is amazing if you have blue eyes this is the kind of brush that I use and I literally take it and dab it under my eyes because that will that was another thing I got done was my eyes I had to have an eye test new glasses blah blah I just basically had an MOT you know an overhaul which I think we need every now and again so yeah there's a few issues that needed to be uh, addressed and I was putting on the long finger and I did all of that. 
So what I do with this is put it under and over just on the tip of my eyelid. See what I'm doing right there? And then I wing it out just a little. And again, and I don't bother with the rest of my, my brow. Now, if I'm filming, usually I'll put on, sometimes, sometimes this is all I do. Um, you don't need to do your whole eye. And then underneath, and you just make sure you smudge it in and blend it out. And that is the difference between a little bit of colour, the terracotta, bringing out the blue, just makes them pop a little bit, and then none. Then after that, actually I'll do the other eye as well, might as well while I'm here. So yeah, the yoga. Uh, unreal, gym, unreal, live, loving it, absolutely loving it. I think the other thing as well, when I started YouTubing, I was a lot more physically active, a lot more day-to-day, uh, -day, uh, walking, running. What I was finding when I started YouTube was I'm sitting a lot more. And there's an awful lot of background work to be done on YouTube, like, you know, the links and all the stuff we do down below. There's a lot of work on it, basically, full stop. But... Um, yeah, so I found I was sitting a lot more and so I just have to be up and active and moving, which I just feel the benefit of so much more. It's actually unbelievable. Now, then I go in and I curl my little lashes because it just gives them that wide awake kind of look. And I do this every day. Some people are like, oh my God, I've never actually, I've never curled my lashes. I do it all the time, every day. It's probably a habit from modeling as well. And uh, really just, just that little extra kind of curl gives them a kind of a lift. It's really good. So that's the curling off the lashes. And then my favourite, my um, Dior Show Iconic Over Curl. And I get the number 090 in black. I am allergic to a lot of mascaras. So this is the only one I have used for, I would now say, easily 20 years. So I love love this mascara i love the wand on it it's kind of a curled wand and uh yeah i just think it's lovely now make sure and get those little lashes underneath and the ones at the very tip the end of your lashes here because that'll wing out and give that kind of false lash effect without using false lashes and then all the little ones underneath and people forget the ones the blondy ones at the top so the two sides of your lashes, over and under. Now, what else did I do? As I said, I did an awful lot of shopping. So those videos are coming up. An awful lot of sh clothes shopping. I definitely go through my phases between bags and clothes. I haven't bought any bags, I don't think. No, but I want to show you something I got as a gift. And um, I haven't bought any bags, but oh my God. Clothes, 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 clothes. So as I said, excuse me getting your bottom lashes there people forget their bottom lashes so as i said i just love this season's everything 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 i can't stop buying it's unbelievable so i think it's because my three words for my wardrobe would be classy i think a bit rocky stroke edgy and then uh timeless elegant kind of so uh definitely like the classic looks all the pants that are in at the moment and I bought waistcoats and I bought jackets and I bought shoes and I bought shirts and I bought oh my god just so much so you have to you have to come back and watch the next few videos they're going to be fun and then of course I had to do I had a massive massive wardrobe another declutter and I said you know what I did this time I said right that's it I'm not even doing the maybes anymore things that didn't fit are gone into a box you know not like sometimes we leave them there going oh in the hope in the hope but like just put it into a different box until you actually do fit it so it was basically a donate and sell but it was mostly donate to be very honest with you because you do not get a lot for clothes on the second hand market and the second hand market isn't that great at the moment as we all know if you've been trying to sell anything or buy if it's a buyer's market at the moment if you're buying things great if you're selling things it's not yeah, no handbags just shoes but wait till i show you look what i did now and i've done the wrong thing you're supposed to see that that happens all the time let it dry but oh no she's distracted so she didn't let it dry so you're gonna let it dry now and then you just take it off with a cotton bud okay now I, a lot of you ogs would have remembered this little beauty that was sent to me by yuka.us she's on instagram i'll link her down below and she makes bags from the hermes dust bags so they're the real dust bags and like real leather and she just does 
an impeccable job. Again, this was a gift. It wasn't any kind of sponsorship and I got my, and the detail in this bag is incredible. But then not only did she do that, wait till I show you. She then, I wasn't even speaking to her and she came along and she left me a message on my Instagram one day. So you can thank you so much. I really appreciate your hard work because these bags and I have done, I have a little bit of B-roll on them as well, are incredibly crafted, are impeccably sewn and are just absolutely 100 out of 100 in quality and style. So this is a little makeup bag you could send me. I she even, she even put the airbag in. This is the inside of it. it. Has a little beautiful little design here and the little zip for your little toiletries, makeup pads, whatever you need in here, your essentials. And this material, as anybody will know, the Hermes dust bag, really thick, really good quality. And it's just, look at the sewing. Look at the detail and the finish and the piping and everything on this bag. It is just absolutely beautiful so i just thought this was gorgeous and i just wanted to show you in case any of you are interested i'll link as i said her channel down below i just think it's a beautiful upcycling recycling use of Hermes dust bags that we just leave thrown in our wardrobe with the double zip here and the brown trim i think it's so rich and so elegant so that's a little cosmetic stroke makeup bag and if you didn't want to get it because obviously it's canvas like just beautiful and look at the stitching like it's really and the, the details of the tag Hermes Paris she uses the little ribbon here on the side as well and then again the ribbon on the top and it is look at the quality of the zip and inside pocket with again she wasn't leaving out the quality here another little pull ring with a little design on it like these are things that people have forgotten these days, you know, just to finish things properly. There's another pocket on the other side. And again, if you're worried about the canvas, because yes, it is a light colour and yes, it is canvas. All you have to do is get yourself a little pouch, whether it be a cellophane little pouch, like say like this one, a little cellophane pouch or anything to put inside to protect your canvas. But just so beautiful. And then... Uh, and then two more, and this is how they come, and this little, uh, excuse me, I dropped one. And then two more, and this is how they come, and this little plastic, look at the little flowers on, just gorgeous. And it just opens here at the back, if you want even to come up to Christmas, and an Hermes lover would love these if you want to gift them. And everything they have, you know, all their little storage pouches are all Hermes, and genuine, because they're the, the genuine dust bags. And this one has piping on the side just so so beautiful and the same here in a smaller size so you have four different sizes and again on the inside here and she even has the tag on the smallest one like thank you so much yuka and i just think your products are beautiful so that's for anybody that might be interested in that so what else were we talking about decluttering i didn't buy any handbags uh keep donate and sell and yeah, do you know what I think I'm leaning? What do I need now? So now we have, did I bring a little cotton bud? I did. So one of these guys, Q-tip, some people call it, cotton bud, other people call it, and then now remove. And you're not left with any kind of, it's easy peasy, lemon squeezy, as they say. And that is it. And then you can clean up any kind of little other areas you might need. And we are nearly there. We've eyes done. Now we are going to do a little bit of blush. And again, because I'm on a, you know, low kind of easy maintenance kind of a thing at the moment i am going to use my charlotte tilbury again and i'll go in with a slightly different brush again this time and you bring it up on your cheekbone not in too far because that will just literally bring your face in and what you want to do is lift it so all these little tricks particularly as we get a little bit older are very important so a little bit on the left, a little bit on the right, and bring it a little bit up, like a little kind of a C, if you like. So you're going up your face and not too kind of far down. And another little tiny bit at the top. Again, it's all about shading and contours, you know, the trick of the eye, you know. And a little bit on the nose. So that's the blusher done. And then, you know, I like a little bit of pink blush on top of that. You know, pink makes the boys wink, you know. Says she, yeah, right. <laughs> so on the cheeks, a little bit of pink, a little bit of youth and beauty and flush. And, you know, that, oh my God, I'm just, you just embarrassed me kind of look, you know. 
<laughs> now, and um, that is a little bit of pink there, and I think that is nice and healthy glow. And speaking of glow, sometimes then I like to use this Mary Lou Manizer. It's kind of a little hair, and you can see the effect that's have a tiny bit on the brow bone if you like. And that's it. That's that bit done. That's your glow for the for the day. And then, last but not least, your little bit of lippy. Now, what else? Yeah. So my wardrobe is kind of heading. I'm I'm trying to. I'm trying to just make my life just easier and simpler and I go to the wardrobe and I have everything that I want to wear and something goes with everything like the trousers and this top that I buy will go with six other trousers or six other tops so I'm trying to make like six or seven I can literally um they all complement each other and you can alternate between tops and bottoms and shoes and jackets and create 15 outfits out of seven pieces that's that's where I'm heading so buy pieces like, I used to buy willy-nilly, to be very honest, years ago. I'd buy willy-nilly, what I liked, when I liked. But now I buy very intentionally, and I really consider a piece that I have. And I go, but would that go with what I already have? Would that mix and match with what... So, in my autumn wardrobe at the moment, I have a lot of grey, of course. I have a lot of brown, white, black. And they're all complementing each other. Navy, they're all going with each other, mix and match. It's just... It's a really good game, actually, so you should try it. And I'll, I'll, as I said, style a few for you in the next few videos. So that's what I've been at. So classy, edgy, cool, comfy, timeless, and elegant are the kind of pieces I've been picking up. So that's really it. That's kind of where I've been at. I definitely want to do more styling videos for you because I feel they're very helpful. I mean, I said before, we can have all the bags, but if we have the bags and we don't know how to style the outfit and how to put the bag with this outfit... It could be just helpful that I do that for you. So I'm definitely, I used to do that at the beginning of my channel, actually. Now, lip liner. Spice Lip Liner by MAC. This is an oldie, but a goodie. It needs to be paired, but don't mind that. So I just outline. Just a tiny bit. And then, and then I kind of smudge it a little. For that very natural and sometimes when I'm lazy I just kind of actually put a little bit of liner on my lip and I snug it and then I like to put a little bit of concealer because I like a lighter kind of a look now again a tiny bit these are all the little tricks so you can do like so and, of course, a little bit of gloss at the moment. I'm using this Catrice Volumizing Lip Booster. And, oh, some bare over the rainbow. B-A-R-E. And a little bit of lippy gloss. Finish that off. And that's my look. So... As I said, it doesn't take that long at all, really. I'm going to go and blow dry my hair, come back, show you. And I really hope you've enjoyed this video. It was just a little chatty to let you know where I've been and how I'll be doing more styling videos. I will be back regularly. I am editing my own videos at the moment because my editor was away. So let me know if you think they're bad, if you think there's much of a difference. Let me know all your feedback, what you think down below. It's important. Um, I just want to say on this video, big shout out to Eileen McCafferty. Hi, Eileen, because Eileen is always uh, texting me, seeing how I am, Instagramming me, messaging me. So I just want to say a big hello. Hi, Eileen, how are you? And actually, my perfume of the day I was using Santal 33. This one reminds me of uh, when I was in Greece. Was it Greece? Yes, it was Greece. And it's like fresh. And I'll put the notes on the screen as always. So that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as I said, until next time, and next time will be the styling, what I got from Zara. Oh, I want to tell you where I was shopping. I actually had to put it in my notes. I have done a lot of shopping. And where did I shop? I... So I uh, have huge hauls coming up and I got items from Zara, H&M Premium, didn't even know it existed. Fabulous pieces. Cos, Arquette, Cezanne, Uniqlo, Premark, Premium, River Island, Pretty Little Thing, ASOS, Axel, Arigato, Arigato, Reese, The Frankie Shop, 
Joseph. And then I got shoes from Zara, Massimo Duty. I got Vega trainers. And then I got belts. I got beautiful belts. A couple of beautiful belts in. I got some earrings. But I'm going to do the Zara one first. And that'll probably be the next one. Because I want to do it. Because you know how quick Zara sells out. And I want to link all the items. And anything that you've heard in this video will also be linked down below. I want to link the Zara items for you. So that you can possibly get them if you would like to do that. That's it. Until next time. Love you lots. Thank you so much. Mwah! possibly get them if you would like to do that that's it so that's it ladies hair and makeup is all done easy look for a uh, get out the door quite quick every day and I hope that those little makeup tips were of value to you and that now we're all caught up on where I've been and look forward to Loads more autumn content coming up, so subscribe, hit the like button, and tell your friends because they might like to join too. And until next time, be kind, be safe, and be compassionate. Love you lots. Mwah.